learning with the Illuminati. Part 21. Introduction to Emotional Memory. Much of the information going in and out of the brain passes through its central parts. Some of these central parts related to memory are the hippocampus, the amygdala, the striatum, and the mammillary bodies. The hippocampus is often related to spatial and to some degree declarative learning, whereas the amygdala and other parts in the limbic system is believed to be important for emotional memory. For instance, lesions in the medial temporal lobe may cause a syndrome called Kluver Busey syndrome with symptoms such as amnesia, docility, dietary changes, hyperorality, hypersexuality, and visual agnosia. The circuit of Papas, also known as the medial limbic circuit, is a circuit believed to be important for the control of emotional expression, however some studies show that it may be more significant in the role of some memory functions. The neuronal pathway goes from, the subiculum, to the fornix, to the mammillary bodies, to the mammillothalamic tract, to the anterior thalamic nucleus, to the cingulum, to the interhinal cortex and back to the subiculum in the hippocampal formation. One common example how emotions interfere with stimuli and memory in anxiety follows. When facing something troublesome, visual and auditory stimuli gets processed by the thalamus, before continuing either to destined parts of the cortex, or directly to the amygdala, whereas information from the olfactory and tactile senses, bypass the thalamus and may reach the amygdala directly. The raw information that shortcuts to the amygdala becomes tagged with emotional significance, whereas the cortex gives a sense of meaning of the information, which may then also feed forward to the amygdala. The amygdala signals the locus ceruleus, which initiates cascades of physiological responses associated with anxiety, such as, increased heartbeat and blood pressure, pupil dilation and sweating. Also, because some information goes directly to the amygdala, much of the cortical functions becomes aware first after the emotional response has been initiated. The hippocampus participates in storing the information together with the emotional coloring attached, or in other words, the senses are stored together with the sensation. The bed nucleus of the stria terminalis may cause long-term emotional response, whereas the cortex is often crucial for turning off the emotional response. Thus cognitive behavioral therapy is often recommended. However, a large problem in modern humans is that our own thoughts and memories may initiate this system without any external threats. Thereafter, the physiological reaction such as increased heartbeat and sweating may cause even more thoughts to feed back to this activation, leading to a negative spiral. If one reflects on this, the external information from the eyes, ears, nose, mouth, and skin is stored along with internal physiological responses. Thus much of our feelings to a situation or associated memories reflects the state of our body which is partly determined by basic mechanisms such as survival and reproduction.